in this lecture we will discuss about jj thomson atomic model around 400 bce a greek philosopher democritus proposed his concepts about the atom according to him everything is made up of small atoms atom is a greek word and it means indivisible the first scientific atomic model was proposed by john dalton and uh, his model explained the overall structure of the atom for example dalton believed that atom is tiny atom is sphere and atom is hard in 1897 english physicist j j thomson proposed his model and uh, he believed that yes atom is tiny and atom is sphere but he didn't agree with uh, john dalton on his third point and that is atom is hard according to him atom is composed of electrons surrounded by a cloud of positive charge just to balance the electron negative charges atom is overall neutral you may compare this model with the plum pudding where the raisins are distributed all over the sponge of pudding based on this comparison you can also call this model a plum pudding model you may compare this with the watermelon as well where the seeds are distributed all over the red part of the watermelon seeds are distributed just like electrons are embedded in the sphere and the red part can be like a cloud of the positive charge please note that the positive charge sphere exerts force on the negative charge electrons and uh, push them towards the center of the sphere during this process the negative charge electrons repel each other and form the shells let's have a look now the reason behind why the plum pudding model was failed this model was failed yes let's have a look now the reasons behind why the plum pudding model was failed this model failed to explain how the positive charge holds on the electron in the atom it means it failed to explain the atom stability this model didn't mention anything about the nucleus of the atom and it also failed to provide the satisfactory answer to explain the deflection of alpha particles and uh, it failed to explain the emission of electron spectrum consisting uh, different frequencies uh, from the atom and it also failed to explain the light spectrum for example according to the thomson model the hydrogen atom can emit single frequency light but it was uh, later observed that hydrogen atom emits light spectrum having different frequencies that's all for the today's lecture 